will do. I want to eat your brains. Yeah, at least I have a brain. You'd be fine in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, Gabby, be a bit nicer to your little brother. He's just trying to get in the mood. Yeah, great. Mucking about, pretending to be the undead. Tiny bit tasteless after everything that's happened, don't you think? Right, come on, Arthur. Get your proper stuff on. We've got to go. That's from Grandad. Oh, lovely. How many old boats can you look at? Wish you'd just come home. Why don't you give him a ring tonight before trick-or-treating? Trick-or-treating's for babies. And there's enough scary things in real life to worry about, and then I make a big joke about it all. What do you think? Ta-da! It's too sexy, mate. It's a baby shower. You want to freak the poor girl out before she's even gone into labour? Come back. Oh, no, 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 don't, no, she's just getting changed. Huh? Hello? For heaven's sake, go and put something else on. His mother was a nurse. Oh, God, no. I never meant... Oh, God. No, 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 it's all right. I, I, um, sorry, I wasn't speaking to you. Yes, well, as you know, we have been through quite a lot as a family. No, I had no idea that she missed quite so much school lately. Obviously, I, I, I do now, and I can assure you you'll be having a very serious conversation about it. Yes. Well, thanks for letting me know. Maybe this isn't a good sign. Well, I take it you haven't come for a massage. Did Gabby say she saw me yesterday? No, why should you, Dan? Oh, she was at her dad's grave. When she should have been at school, no doubt. I tried to talk to her, but she was really upset. Well, she ran off. I didn't know if I should mention it or... Well, she's had a lot on her plate lately. Yeah, I know. And that's why I don't want to make it worse. And I thought I was bad when I was her age, with all my little secrets and drama and carry on. <laughs> I was an open book compared to Gabby. What are you doing? I thought you were... I thought you were poorly. I'm fine. Right, so why haven't you been at school? Can I not just stay around here for a bit? Yeah, sure. Just Miss Pollard and that lot getting uh, all excited about some tasting menu thing at the malt. Didn't need to get out more, to be honest. Here you go, this will warm me up. So, why haven't you been at school? What are you, the attendance officer? No, it's just people are starting to notice, that's all. What's going on? I've done something really bad. Okay, well, if you do see it, immediately because she's in serious. Hang on, I'm going to, have to call you back. Great. So, this is what you're doing with yourselves drinking alcohol when you should be at school. Honestly, Gabby, I could wring your neck. I've been that worried. What's going on with you? Have you any idea what could have happened to you? You could have been abducted or anything, and we wouldn't have known where you were. What if the person that killed Emma was still around? Had you thought of that? I need to know where you are. I just wanted a bit of time off. You've had tons of time off lately, Gabby. You don't need any more time off. Not with your GCSEs round the corner. Oh, honestly, I despair. Don't you think we've been through enough lately? What is all this about? Is it about Emma? No, of course not. Look, can we just go home? What are you up to? Are you OK? I've been up to the viaduct where Mum died. Right. Oh, someone left some flowers up there. Well, that, that's nice, isn't it? This was with them. Sorry for what? I don't get it. Come on, you don't think if they had anything to do with what happened, they'd leave flowers, do you? Come on, let me get you coffee. 